we have seen Marvel Studios with Phase 4 fully embrace comic book accuracy when it comes to costumes, and what the characters end up looking like. And now it looks like some of this is also coming to the Guardians of the Galaxy, where the characters for most part were pretty much accurate already. So today we are going to be talking about the one and only Gamora, and her getting a more comic accurate look to her, well, everything I suppose. Fans of the comic books who know Gamora know that she has a rather cool look that's very stylized. She has this great armor. She of course still has the green skin, the hair, and she has a pretty awesome sword that she usually carries around with her. Marvel Studios has taken on a different approach to how they introduce characters and how they eventually grow and end up getting their comic book accurate suits. We've seen the Guardians hint towards having those accurate late 2000s outfits. It looks like Guardians 3 might finally deliver that for multiple characters. So the image right there that I showed of Gamora, that's what many people were hoping that she would eventually get. There's been plenty of rumors that she would, in fact, be wearing a suit like that because, again, this is the evil Gamora. She's off on her own. She's doing her own thing, trying to find herself. So it might make some sense. Now, in regards to some of the changes being made to her look in different aspects, I guess is the best way to put it, it would be around her eyes. Again, if you look at Gamora, she's got that yellow around the eyes, kind of like a warrior paint, if you will, which I always thought was cool and gave her a little bit more of a unique look that's not just green everywhere, that's overpowering everything which of course is why I think they changed her hair color in the MCU anyway. Which brings me to a slight change they are making to her appearance, because the actress Zoe Saldana posted a new photo online, and well, here we go. She's got the gold slash yellow around the eyes now, which I think is really awesome. Some people are debating whether she's going to have more gold on her, because you can see right underneath the neckline, but honestly, I think that's just what they painted so far, because she's going to be wearing a suit over her body, which brings me to, well the armored white suit which again has been rumored so overall i'm glad that they're finally gonna add the like war paint eyes i just really prefer those i really like it kind of makes the face stick out more again that's just me i know i really enjoyed it in the guardians video game which if you still haven't played it you need to get on that please go play that game give them money let's get some sequels there anyways though i'm excited uh i'm getting more excited about guardians 3 hoping that it delivers on all fronts, especially when it comes to character development. Going into the third film, Gamora is the thing I'm most interested in personally, just because of the way her character is going to be handled, because she's from a different timeline, slash variant, slash multiverse, fractured, uh, you know, whatever word terminology you want to use. She's not the one we know, that one died. So I want to see how this Gamora becomes different. What does she do that's different? You know, what's everything that's changed about her and how is she going to be more brutal? And I think tossing on the war paint and putting on a armored suit that's uh, hard to break is probably a good start. So I'm excited. Can't wait to see it. Hopefully this figure has that white suit so that hot toy can finally make it into my collection. Been holding off getting the Gamora. Got that rocket though. He's pretty sweet. <laughs> 